Hi guys, welcome back. I hope all is well and everyone is having a great day. I have a review for you today and a swatching because I'm going to swatch these out to see what kind of color range we get um, before and after we um, apply water. This is Color Block Watercolor Pencil Set. This is 24, a set of 24. It comes with an eraser and a sharpener, which is probably not the best, but I didn't buy it for the eraser and the sharpener. I bought it for the pencils, and I had a subscriber tell me to try these out. Because you guys know, and I know some of you are try tired of hearing it, I am chasing the dragon with the Anna Velocity Watercolor Pencils, trying to find a budget-friendly watercolor pe pencil that is vibrant like the Anna Velocity watercolor pencils. So, a subscriber told me to try these, that they were great. So, I wanted to try these out. These are very affordable. Uh, I think they were they were under $12. So, I think they were like $11 and some change. Really affordable. It's an Amazon find. I will leave the link below. So, if you decide you want to try these out, try them out but i haven't tried them out so we're going to try these out together and we're going to see what we get we're going to see if we like these and do they have enough pigment for us so let's get started let's open these up i hope you guys are doing well today Okay, they have some colors on the back. And a place to open on the back. I have not tried these, you guys know that. I just said that, but I kind of just looked at them when they came in and just put them in my, <clears throat> in my um, whole bucket. You know, I have those haul crates that I pull all this, put in all the stuff I need to haul for a haul video. So, oops, that was the eraser and the pencil sharpener. I'm not worried about that anyway. All right. Sorry about all that noise. Some very beautiful colors from the barrel. From the bottom of the barrel, I see some very, very beautiful colors. I hope they are beautiful. Let's take one out and look at it. Um, there is no name or a no number. So I would definitely have to make up a numbering system, which would not be that bad because you only have 24 pencils. Um, I think these are cedar. I think this is cedar, I'm not real sure. But I think it's made out of cedar, which is nice wood. Um, but let's try it out, guys. Let's see what we get. They kind of look like luminous pencils a little bit. You know, the wood. I'm going to move them to the side. This is the watercolor paper that I'm using. 140-pound watercolor paper. I love this paper. I bought it at Walmart. And it came in the jumbo pad with 50 sheets. It looked a lot thicker. It looked like a lot more than 50 sheets, but the paper is nice and thick. This is only 50 sheets. It's probably only, only about 40 sheets now because I've used so much of it. All right, guys, we're going to start swatching these out. Um, Let's see. I have my towel handy. I'm going to turn it inside out. There we go. I have my towel handy. And I am using, I'm going to bring it over. I will be using my Masterson Freshwater Rinse Well. This thing is freaking amazing. I have a review that I did um, with the Rinse Well. Rinse well. It's a very short video because it came put together it was just so easy to use. The video was under 10 minutes for a review, but it's that easy. And it works so good. I'm so happy I purchased that. 
It was only like $19 on Amazon. I will leave a link below for the Masterson Rentswell as well as these pencils. So let's get started. Of course, we're gonna do a pink and they have two different color pinks, which I'm excited about. And I'm sorry I'm shaking you. I'm gonna try not to shake you. So sorry you're shaking. I will definitely take care of that little issue. Okay. And we're gonna do a green, let's try a green. We have four different color greens, which is good, because you guys know I like to color botanicals and leaves. So having four different greens in just the small set of 24, it's amazing. Let's try a blue. Let's try this blue. We're just gonna swatch out a few colors and see what we get. Okay, I have three colors, but we have to do a yellow. We have to, we must. <laughs> do a yellow. I'm going to do this marigold color because this is a beautiful color. I love this color. So sorry for shaking. Okay. So I have four colors here. We're going to start. My brush is wet but not saturated. I'm just going to dip it a little bit. All right. And we're gonna see how they react to this paper and if we like them. And I'm gonna actually get out my Joanna Bassford test book and we're gonna check that out. Okay, that became very bright, very vibrant, really, really nice. It totally woke up. Okay, let's see if the next colors do the same thing. I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer. Let's see if the other colors do the same thing. Okay, here we go. This is the green, and this is not the darkest green. This is one of the lightest greens. They dissolve nice, really, really nice, really easy. Um, they dissolve, and I know you guys are saying Monet, Stop comparing everything to Anna Velocity watercolors, but they dissolve like the Anna Velocity watercolor. Really, really nice, really bright. All right, let's try the blue. And I took the lighter blue. I chose the lighter blue. See, it just dissolves really, really nice. I like the way it dissolves. Don't leave a harsh line. You can easily smooth your lines out. Nice. Works for me so far. We're gonna try, you know, to color a leaf or something. Of course, we have to. I have my Joanna Bassford book, my test book handy. So we're gonna try and color something just to try it out, you know? See what we get. Instead of just swatching it on a piece of paper, you know, on a piece of watercolor paper, we're gonna actually use it in the book so we can see what we get. Okay, so far I'm liking them, the way they dissolve. Okay, they're nice, they're bright, they're vibrant, they're pretty. For First of all, so far, I like them. But let's keep going. Beautiful colors. Let me put this away and bring out my test book. And we're just gonna work on that same page <laughs> that we have been working on and we're just gonna try and color another leaf or something. 
let's see. Huh. What could we color? Maybe we'll color this little flower. With browns and... Yeah, because I like this marigold color. And this marigold color would be pretty here. When adding, we can go in and add some some darker colors. I'm a sharpen, guys. Okay, so sorry about the noise. All right, see, it didn't take long. Just gonna get all the petals, put some pigment on all of the petals. Then I'm gonna go in and add some more colors, some browns. We do have a brown, we have two different browns. <clears throat> it's kind of strange that you get a set of 24 and you have at least two colors of each color, which is I think that's kind of cool. I added a lot more pigment to that last, to this one. But I don't want them to all be the same color. Okay, so we added that. Let's go in and add some brown. We're not gonna do the darkest brown. Um, let me show you the two colors of brown. The one at the top is a lot lighter. So I'm gonna use the lighter color. And I'm gonna sharpen. Okay. And I just wanna add some brown at the base. And I'm also going to add a little bit of orange at the base. Just putting some color in here, give it a little dimension. Just putting some color down. And let's see what we get. Let's put a little bit right there in the shadow, in the corner. All right, we got a little bit of the brown down. <clears throat> I'm not gonna do the inside of the flower, but I would do the darker brown for the inside if I was gonna color the inside, but I'm not gonna color. I'm just gonna do the leaves, I'm gonna sharpen. All right, now I'm gonna add some yellow towards the end. Just a little bit of this bright yellow. Just a little, not much. And then we're gonna activate it. Put some water. Okay, put a little bit of yellow. I want to put a little bit of... Let me see how it look first. Oh, I need my zig. Oh, I have it. I have it today. Because <laughs> I know the last video, I didn't have my zig handy. And you could tell the difference. There's nothing wrong with budget-friendly water brushes, but you have more... This is the zig the Kiritaki Zig, you have more control over 
where you were actually dragging your color with the zig because it's a firmer it's a firmer brush versus this soft brush and you know nothing's wrong with that other brush it's just um it's 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 not a zig i have too much water all right I'm just moving the pigment around. Basically, I'm just dragging that dark pigment to the light pigment. And smoothing it out and bringing it, I bring it up. And then I bring it back just to put a little bit of that color up there and then I bring it back. <clears throat> okay, we have a few more to go. Okay, those were very easy. That was very easy to use. Um, I will go back in and add some more. What color I want to add? I think I want to add some more of this. Yellow at the end. Not much, just a smidge on the little line. All right. So I've added some more of the marigold and I'm just gonna activate it, just bring it up a little bit and activate it, each one. I'm just bringing the color down into the petal. And there's a difference, big difference. It looks okay. It look okay, but I think I like these. Um, I don't think they're they have as much pigment as I thought they would have, but let's try, um, let's try this purple and we're going to just, we're going to keep going guys, because I really want to try these out. So I'm just going to put some color down. And see what kind of fading capabilities these pencils have. I mean, they are super budget friendly, so I'm not expecting the world. Um, but the reviews are really good, so. All right, that's enough. Okay, so I wanna add a little bit of pink. Uh, I think I wanna do the lighter pink. We're going to add the lighter pink. Probably should have done the darker pink. And I'm going to add some of the darker pink. I'm going to sharpen, guys, okay? One second, one second. Okay, so I'm gonna add this magenta. Let's go and add some of this magenta in. And see.
at $11 and some change, I had to try these. Um, and I was like, okay, if they're horrible, I'm not going to be upset. Just put them, just throw them in the pencil graveyard. You know, I have a pencil graveyard. I have a, <laughs> I have a, um, gel pen graveyard. I have a watercolor paint graveyard. Just throw them in the graveyard. Guys, and let me to give you this bit of information. Um, I have some Arteza watercolor brushes, and this Zig is great. It is fantastic. But those Arteza watercolor, I'm sorry, those Arteza water brush pens are great. They are really, really great. I love them. Okay, not as much pigment. Water definitely take away a lot of the pigment. Take, a, take away a lot of the color saturation in these. Mm, they don't compare to the Anna Velocity watercolor pencils at all. And I'm, you know, I know you guys are tired of me comparing them to other pencils, but these don't compare to the Anna Velocity watercolor pencils. Um, these are great for like um, your Sunday school class of 10 and 11 year olds or something like that. These are great for something like that. But for my adult coloring, I will not be using these color block watercolor pencils. I don't really care for them. As you can see, one even came damaged. Um, I don't care for these at all. Just my opinion. I'm just being honest and letting you guys know. So I'm giving you that disclaimer before you spend your 11 bucks. There is something out there much better that you can spend $11 on other than these color block watercolor pencils. I'm so happy I didn't even buy a case for these because they'll probably just stay like this and whatever. But if any of you guys want these and you live in the US, send me your address and I will send, be more than happy to send these to you because I don't care for them. And I'm not trying to give away my junk. It's just that I don't, I know I will never use these. So if you want to try your hands at them, you know, you know how to contact me. My address is, my email address is below. If you want these, send me your address. If you live in the U.S., I will send, be more than happy to send these to you because I will not be using them. Um, they're just not my thing. They didn't really do what I needed them to do. So guys, but I am going to put the link below if you want to just try them out for yourself. I mean, they're only 11 bucks. Try them out for yourself. Maybe you'll like them. I don't know. I don't care for them. But I'm also going to put below the Freshwater Rinse Well. That thing is awesome. Try it out. It's great. Check out that video. It just came out maybe before this video, I think. Um, I have actually haven't even uploaded that video yet. But guys, have a great day. If you have any questions about these, please feel free to drop a comment below.